All right, so we've explored the asset pipelines and the visual aspects of Unreal Engine. In this module, we're gonna dive into some more of the technical aspects of Unreal, Blueprint. Before we get started, we need to answer the question, what exactly is Blueprint? Blueprint is an actor type inside of Unreal that is one of the engine's most powerful features. It allows you to do something as simple as create prefabs all the way up to creating gameplay features with visual scripting. Let's have a quick look at the Blueprint UI. As an example of how powerful Blueprint is, there are many different types of Blueprints that you can create by default. You can see this in Unreal if you go into your content browser, right click and go up to the Create Blueprint button. You'll get a little pop up with a ton of options, but in most cases, you're going to be using the first one. Actor. If I open up this new blueprint, we'll see the Blueprint Editor interface. It has a similar layout to other editor interfaces that we've looked at before. On the far left, we have our Blueprint Controls section. On the far right, we have our Details panel. And then in the middle, we have our Stage. Below the stage, you'll see the log section, which will show you your errors and your message log, as well as give you options for searching and finding references. All stuff that we'll dive into deeper later. Above the stage, we have our breadcrumbs and tabs, which will become very useful in the next lesson. And then above that, we have the toolbar. Diving deeper on the left side, our control section is split into two tabs. The Components tab is the equivalent of our Blueprint Actor's Outliner. Just like the Outliner in the Level Editor, this is where you'll find a list of all of the components in your Actor. Below that is the My Blueprint section, which is the Command Center for all of the scripting aspects of Blueprint. Back to the middle here, the Stage area is a very dynamic area. Here, you can see a 3D viewport. A blueprint allows you to have pretty much any actor you could have in a level exist inside this self-contained world. We'll talk about that more in just a minute. But first, I want to look up at the tabs above the staging area. You'll see three tabs by default. Viewport, Event Graph, and Construction Script. Now, you've seen the viewport but if I were to switch over to the event graph, you'll see a different UI that is similar to that of the material editor. This is where we do the actual visual scripting part. The construction script looks very similar to the event graph and is also an area for visual scripting. So what's the difference between the event graph and the construction script? Well, it's all in the names, really. The event graph is all about events, both creating events and reacting to events. This is where dynamic gameplay happens. It's important to note that the event graph runs while the game is actually being played. So generally, to test something happening in the event graph, you need to drop in and play. The construction script happens on construction of the blueprint actor in the world. To understand this, you need to really understand when construction happens. The construction script is run anytime the blueprint actor is added to a level, moved around, or a parameter is changed. It's also run whenever you first begin playing, as well as if it were dynamically spawned into the world. The coolest thing about the construction script is that since it is run when the actor is first added to or moved within a level, it also runs an editor. So you don't have to drop in and play to see the effects. You'll see how cool this is a few videos from now when we explore creating dynamic prefabs. But on the subject of prefabs, Let's walk a couple steps back and look at a simple use case scenario for Blueprint. Using a Blueprint as a prefab is a fairly simple implementation. Think about our crates and barrels from before. We arrange them in a specific order for a scene, but if we wanted to have that particular arrangement be saved as a prefab that we can just drop into other scenes, then we can actually do that really easily with Blueprint. Let's give it a try. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to come in here and right click, go up to the Blueprint class button, and then I'm going to select this first one called Actor. I'll type in BP underscore crate barrel, then if I were to open this up, we'll now navigate over to find my crate and barrels, and I will drag this barrel here to the components and drop it on this default scene route. And now we can see the barrel in here. 
So if I were to then click on this and control D, I can create a duplicate of it. Now I can drag this duplicate around inside of my 3D editor here. I can also then click on this default scene root to make it active again. And I'm going to drag and drop this crate in here just like that. Now I can click it inside of here and I can drag this around just like this and position it like that. I could then control D to duplicate it again, select it from the components over here. And now I can move this over here, control D to duplicate it again, going to bring it up here just like that maybe rotate this around some, move this barrel up, and we could continue to go through and arrange these in any way that we wanted. Then when done, we'll hit compile, going to minimize that down a little. I'm going to click on this button here to browse to my original blueprint asset. And if I were to drag it out into the scene, there we go. Now we have this blueprint prefab right here that we can treat pretty much as a group. And I could alt drag a copy of this out. I could drag from here to bring another one in. So this allows you to arrange a certain set of models together in a prefab format that you can then drag and drop however you want to. Blueprint also offers a visual scripting solution inside of Unreal that uses a node-based workflow to add functionality to an Unreal Engine project. Basically, it's visual code. Unreal Engine is built using the programming language C++, and as a developer, you actually have access to the source code. You can modify the source code, or you can extend it with your own C++ code. But this isn't the only way to add functionality, and it's primarily useful in more advanced level development projects. Blueprint actually gives us a visual coding option that is more artist friendly at its base, but it also offers a lot more power to those who are familiar with programming fundamentals. Blueprint uses what is called flow control to guide the order of events. The nodes are connected by strings to tell the actor what to do next. It's very similar to the material editor and how nodes work there. Just like in the material editor, nodes can have inputs as well as outputs with the addition of an input output slot called execution. This execution controls the flow and tells the operation where to go next. Let's have a look. To show how this works, I'm going to right click, go up to blueprint class, click on actor here. I'm gonna call this BP underscore basic flow, just like that. I'll open it up and what I'm gonna do is over here in my components, go to this add button. I will click on that and I'm going to come down and add a cube. That's going to add a cube into my viewport here. I'm going to lift it up just a little bit so it's actually sitting on the floor. And then I'm going to come in here, click on my default scene root, click the add button, then come down and click on this sphere. It's going to add a sphere component in here, which I will then move up here just like this. And we can see setting it at 140 here is gonna set it like right on top of this cube. Now what I wanna do is I wanna actually move this up 50 centimeters from this. So 140 plus 50 is gonna be 190. How I'm gonna do that is go into my construction script here. And I'm going to drag this sphere out here into this and then drag off and I'm going to type in set relative so I can get this set relative location. Now how this works with the flow is we come out of this execution and we plug into this one. So on construction, it is going to execute this relative location change onto the sphere. And for this Z, I want to put 190 because 140 plus 50 is 190. I'll hit compile. And then if I were to drag this out into the world, we can see that this sphere is now floating above it. Looking back in here at the graph, what's happening is this flow is going from this node, following this string into this node and doing exactly what we tell it to here on the target, which is our sphere.
Now that was a fairly simple example of using the visual scripting aspect of Blueprint, which is a much deeper subject that we'll start to explore throughout this module. For now, you should have a little more familiarity with what Blueprint actually is. You can use it for the simplest of things like prefabs, and you can use it for some very complex gameplay elements or editor utilities.